and welcome. This is Aceless John to the other Android Studio tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about gestures. Now, unlike most of my uh, presentations, this is going to have a little bit more PowerPoint in it, which most people are going to hate. And then the other thing that it's going to do is I'm going to refer you actually to several other uh, YouTubers and websites to get more information. I am going to go through and explain gestures and do some code examples, but there are some really excellent YouTube examples and teachers out there who have done a much, much better job than I think I could do uh, explaining it. And they also are pretty much exactly the same thing. So I'm going to point you there and I'm going to do something similar but a little bit different. And I'm going to point out two important things um, about the code and how to create it for you uh, to get you along uh, on your way. All right. This is an example of the web page uh, from the developer that you should actually go and look at. The link will be below. Uh, very useful, especially after you go through this tutorial. You'll be able to understand it a lot better. To do basic parts of working with gestures, you have to capture the touch event and then you have to process those events. Uh, in order to do this, do this, you need to implement the gesture detector dot on gesture listener. Uh, and if you want to use the double tap gesture, you will need to implement also the gesture detector dot on double tap listener and include the on double tap method. Uh, an example of this is you just got your ordinary public class main activity extends activity and you would change that into implements gesture detector dot on gesture listener comma gesture detector on double tap listener. So you would implement both of those if you wanted to use both of them. And this would have to be included somewhere in your code if you wanted to use the on double tap. Just this little override right here. Uh, creation of an instance of the Android gesture detector compat. Um, this is called when the activity is first created. And it's just a simple, you'll see this in the code. And I've got the code on my website so you can get a copy of it there. Or you can get a copy of it in several other places of uh, similar um, for instance, and the one that I'm using here is almost directly out of Android. M detector equals new gesture detector compat. This, this, and M detector dot set on double tap listener. This implementation of the on touch event callback method. When a user places one or more fingers on the screen, this triggers the callback on touch event. Every touch event that is identified as a gesture, the on touch event is fired several times. You'll see that. Uh, the Android Gesture Detector class is used for detecting common gestures. Some of the gestures is supported include on down, on long press, on fling. Again, we'll see those. You can use Gesture Detector in conjunction with the on touch event. Two things that I want to show you before we actually get into the code is um, how to make sure that you've got the necessary library files. So let's go to SDK Manager. And you want to go to SDK Tools. And make sure you've got your Android support library installed. Uh, if you don't have that installed, you're going to have a lot of problems doing this. Uh, if you did have to install it, you should probably need to go up here to App, right click, go down here to Open Module Settings, click on Dependencies, and you need this installed uh, to be compatible with what I'm doing. And it's under here, plus library dependency. And you should be able to find it here, app compat right there. And just OK. I've already got mine, so I'm going to get rid of that. And that should, that should get you set up. I've actually never had to do this, so I don't know if anybody out there will have to. Uh, that's how I was taught. So I've never actually had to do it, so I don't really know what's going on. I was just taught to do that just in case. Um, so I'm passing that knowledge on for what good it will do you. All right, here in our code, I want to show you our second thing that I wanted to show you about implementing things. Um, this is pretty much standard with main activity, activity we've extended for the detector um, and the tap. Um, we've created private static final string debug, which, which you're going to use for uh, uh, seeing exactly what's going on. And so we'll, you'll see that later. Uh, then we create the private gesture detector compact M detector. Uh, then when we first called, uh, when the first create activity is created, we do this public void on create bundles, pretty standard activity main. 
then we instantiate the gesture detector with with the application context and an implementation of gesture detector dot on gesture listener so m detect right up here down new gesture detector for this this and set the gesture detector as the double tap listener m detector dot set on double tap listener this and now and then after that we we do all this all these different methods and I want to show you how an easy way to do all those without actually having to sit down and type every single one of them just pretend like this is that page and we just got done down to here so what you do is you go alt insert and then implement methods and it will show you all the methods that it's going to implement and you click OK and BAM every single one of the implements that we're going to use is here and we've got a great skeleton to fill out. I'd like to point out, however, they're not in order. But let's go in here on single tap confirmed. And I said they are there. They're just not in order. So that's because I got this off the Android site. And I guess they didn't do it in the same order as uh, their app. Anyway, so we go back in here and look at this. And what I've done is I've modified what you find on the Android site. And I included a toast in here for all these events now if you if you know how to read the the, the, the log cat in Android you don't need the toast um, but this works this will show you exactly what's going on in the background uh, in a clear and concise manner so basically all you have to do is take this toast equals toast 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 equals toast dot make text get application context comma and then I use the debug tag, which is provided up here, the debug tag, plus on long press. And that comes from the debug tag. This basically, I put this here and then put a plus sign instead of a comma uh, to concatenate. And I did have to add a toast to the on touch event because it gets called the most of all these. So I wanted to show the prevalence of its appearance. And that's basically all I did was I, I toast and I copied and pasted into every slot. Here's the original code. And basically what I did is I took this and I just copied and pasted right after each one of these uh, log D's lines. On my website, if you want to get a copy of it and don't want to have to do it all manually, emulator we're gonna run it on the emulator it's up and running and we didn't do anything to the XML and you notice I mean even the hello world is still there but what I want you to do is go over here get your mouse somewhere convenient and just press down and hold for three seconds one two three and look at the events as they occur That's pretty cool. So if you want to do a double click, it shows you everything that's going on in the background. And that's all I wanted to show you. Uh, there's a lot of links and information below. Well, one of the things that I really don't like about uh, this particular uh, section is it's a lot of theory, but it just doesn't seem all that useful. But it is, because this is fundamental to understanding how this works. You have to understand how it works before you can use it. This has been Aceless Don teaching another Android Studio tutorial. I'm glad you could join me. I hope you've learned something. Don't forget to subscribe and a thumbs up, and I'll see you around.